So here's the thing. You can use your lack of resources as an excuse. You can allow what you don't have to slow you down. You can spend all of your time thinking about how things would just be so much better if you had the things you didn't have. You know, it's the money. I just need financing or more money. Or I, I'm, if I was just in a bigger city or a better state or a better country, if I just knew the right people, if I went to the right school, if I had the right access, if I was a name, if I was smarter, if I was more famous, the list is literally endless. You can focus all of your time and all of your energy and all of your effort on how things should be, how they should go, how things would be so much different if you just had those things that you didn't have. Or you can stop using what you don't have and how things should have gone and how things would be so much better if you just had those things as an excuse. You can stop telling yourself that you didn't get what you wanted because of someone else. You can stop making excuses for your lack of speed or your lack of progress. You can just stop with all of the reasons and all of the excuses because none of it is helping you. We all have what we have right now. And the people that you look up to, the people that you admire, the people who did it before you, they started with less than what you have right now. You know, a few years ago, I decided that I was gonna get my motorcycle's license. I used to do tons of dirt biking, but I wanted to get my license and I wanted to ride my motorcycle on the road. And there was this thing that we learned in class called target fixation. Why is it that when someone is on a motorcycle or even in their car and they start to lose control, even though there's nothing around them but a single telephone pole, why is it that they always hit the pole? And it's because of target fixation. They are so terrified and worried about not hitting it that they stare directly at it, they focus on it, and they drive right into the pole. So we're taught this when you're learning how to ride a motorcycle because you will go where your eyes will go. And so when you start to come around a corner and a bus is coming at you, if you stare at that bus, guess where you're going? But if you can just get over the fear of this huge thing coming flying at you and you can look a different direction, you can set your target, you can set your eyes on the horizon further off somewhere else, guess what? You will just ride right around that bus, you won't get hit by the bus, life will be dandy. And that is what your excuses are doing to you right now. You are so focused on all the things that you don't have, on how things should have been, how things are better for everyone else but not for you. You're so focused on it that it is literally tanking your progress and your success. So of course, you can strive for more, you can work for more, you can want more. Of course, you cannot be happy with where you are today knowing that you are working for something bigger and you are gonna get to someplace better. But what you can't do is waste time making excuses and beating yourself up because that's not helping anyone. Because the truth is, you have everything you need right now. You have everything that you need to get started. You have everything you need to challenge yourself to go to the next level. You're not missing something. You don't need all of these other fancy things or all of the money or all of the connections or all the people. You have exactly what you need right now to move on to the next step. So stop allowing your lack of resources or your lack of having things to slow you down. Start with exactly what you have right now and that starts with deciding that you're gonna take the next step even though it's uncomfortable, even though you feel like you're not ready, like you don't have the things you need, you do. Start with that next step and then go out there and make it happen. Did mini band exercises, you ever do mini bands? And you have to do like yeah. these like stretches and they just like are we ready? Yeah. If you want to know why you have to think big, you have to be bold, and you have to say yes, check out the video right there. I think you'd like it a lot, and I will see you there.